All right, we're ripping in a bull market today. We got strong Chicago purchasing managers, Japanese industrial production up, and the end of QE2. The Dow's got 142 points in a big move. The NAS up almost 31. The S&P 500 up 12 points and change. Basically, they're up 1% or more. Overseas, the same story. Bull market. In Britain, the FTSE is up 80 points. In Germany, the DAX is up 75 and a half. And in France, the CAC is up 56 and a half points. Pretty strong bull market everywhere you look. Now, some news. French President Nicolas Sarkozy attacked during a visit to southern France. Sarkozy was immediately surrounded by his bodyguards after the attack. The assailant was arrested shortly afterwards. Motives completely unclear. What's up with that? Anyway, President Obama getting tough on the GOP during his news conference yesterday, criticizing Republicans for resisting calls to end tax breaks for corporate jet owners, hedge fund and investment partnerships, and of course, big bad oil. So we ask, are higher taxes a good idea to help cut the deficit? Or might they cost jobs? Joining us to discuss, we have Greg Valliere, Chief Political Strategist, Hi. Potomac Research Group, and a CNBC contributor. And we bring back Ben Ferguson, talk show host at Icon Radio Network. Greg Valliere, you know, yep. I noticed in the press releases on this corporate jet tax increase, both the Machinist Union and the General Aviation Trade Group oppose it because it would be a job killer. Your sure. thought? Yeah, I, I think that it doesn't help. I think that we could argue all morning, Larry, on whether this adds jobs or loses them. The big story to me is this. The president has to understand that tax hikes have no chance in the House, none at all. So he's demagoguing. Yeah, he sees polls, and he feels that if he can bash business or talk about fat, ta uh, fat cats, it could help him in November of 2012. How does that create a good psych psychological climate for American business? I just don't get it. Ben, does raising taxes cost jobs? Is there a direct relationship? Absolutely. And I think what you see in corporate America now is they're terrified of this president. I mean, first of all, he's been AWOL in the negotiations. Second of all, he seems to be completely out of touch with it, even as a re reality in the House. And I think they responded. But you look at his ideas. This is a campaign speech he had yesterday. This is evil, right. rich people, and jets are bad for right. this country, and they're not paying their fair share. And he actually said yesterday, it's time for the wealthy to pay their fair share. They already pay almost 50% of all the taxes collected in this country, yet the president says, I think this is good for campaigning. Forget the fact it's terrible for business. And I would say to the president, hey, where are all your shovel-ready jobs that you're going to have that we didn't get from all the billions you spent? You know, Greg Valliere, it's yep. interesting, the shovel-ready jobs. I think there's going to be almost unanimous consent that these tax hikes will lose jobs across the board. So I want to ask you. Does President Obama have an economic growth message to counter the stutter in the economy, the problems in housing and joblessness, and his decline in the polls? In other words, what's the White House message here? It's really very puny. It's very hard to see a growth message. By the way, I would, if, if we all agree that raising taxes costs jobs, I think we also have to agree that in the short run, deep spending cuts will cost jobs as well. Let's not delude ourselves on that. But I don't, I don't Do see Do we have any, to I mean, agree on that? Well, I think so. I, I, I don't mean, agree on that at all. I mean, the president, we know Ben, that the do you government, agree on that? No, because the government and everybody in Washington actually somewhat seems to understand this for the first time, at least the House and some in the Senate, is <clears throat> government has become extremely bloated over the last five, ten years, and there's got to be massive cuts. And if you look around the world at other countries right now, right. they're having massive problems. It's the same thing. They're spending more than we're bringing in, and this president still doesn't seem to understand that we need cuts without tax hikes. But we just if, need the government, cuts. if the government is bloated, you're going to have layoffs. Hello, if not, you not, have layoffs, no, no, no. a lot of it, a lot of it is just flat-out wasted money that are not yeah. connected to jobs you, you or government-ready jobs or shovel-ready jobs. In the short run, there'd be layoffs. But let me just make one other point that Larry asked me about, and that is, no, I don't see much of an agenda. If they don't want to go to repatriation, there's not a hell of a lot else other than repatriation of earnings that I think would be a plus for multinationals, might add some jobs. Beyond that, maybe a little bit more on the payroll tax, but the cupboard is bare in terms of any new initiatives, in my opinion. And, and Ben Ferguson, you know, Steve Leisman went through the CNBC All-America poll, and by a large, large majority, people do want spending cuts, and they do want deficit reduction, and they see that as a solution to the economy, Ben. Is well, that what Mr. Obama is missing? That's what he's missing, but the other thing is, I think why the poll shows it is, the president already got what he thought would stimulate the economy. 
and it did not work. It didn't come close to work. It was so bad that he even mocked his own shovel-ready job talking point a couple weeks ago. So what he wants, he got, and it didn't work. And so now people are saying, look, you can't spend your way out of this, Mr. President. You need to be in the room and look at reality. You need to be there in the negotiations. And just because you have a Harry Reid who says, we're going to stay over the holiday weekend and get back to work on Tuesday, guess what? That's what most Americans are going to do. They're going to go back to work on Tuesday, which means you're not doing anything special. The president's campaigning when he should be looking at, we got a deficit problem, we got to fix it. Melissa, are you going to be Great, back let me working ask you Tuesday? Seriously. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am going to be back working Tuesday. Me but too. I, I want to ask too. Greg a serious question. Yeah, sure. What, what happened to the shovel ready jobs? I mean that in all seriousness. <laughs> I, I'm not being glib. What happened? I, Why didn't they materialize? I, I, Look, I, think they were, I think they were poorly run. I think they, there was too much red tape. I, I would argue, and I know you guys will push back on this, but had we not had the stimulus, unemployment would be at 12% instead of 9 I think it helped a little. But the question is, the, the $64,000 question, uh, Ben Ferguson, quickly, look, it, at this moment, with unemployment high and the economy sagging, do you think there's a consensus for tax hikes at all? That's no, really the I, big question. I don't, because right. I think you look at it, this, this administration has about, been about two things. It's been about regulations, and it's been about going after people that have money and businesses that actually make money. Neither of those are going to stimulate the job growth. I don't care if you're conservative or liberal. The fact is, I this agree. president has got to get the economy going, and that means saying to business leaders, hey, we're going to leave you alone for a while, and we're going to give you what you need, which is, we're going to give you stability to know that your taxes aren't going to go up right now so go start hiring people because the government I, plan's not quick, working Greg, real yeah, quick Greg. larry i agree on taxes but i also think austerity is not the answer either well okay i i think you're right and i think washington right now does not have a policy i think that's really the issue anyway yep. gentlemen thank you very much okay. uh let's Thanks go back to melissa